Now that we've done some troubleshooting with our relationships in the model view, let's now take a look at this visualization. This visualization uses company name from a table called minimum order customers. See the company name is checked right there. If we click on this table, you'll see that this table is not actually coming from a data source like Excel or SQL Server. This table is a calculated table and it was created using DAX. This DAX formula is very special because it's doing something we haven't seen in previous videos. It's using three separate DAX statements. This first DAX statement is a variable. We declare the variable using var. We name the variable. I named it. I wrote minimum order count and I assigned it a value using equal sign and I assigned it 10. This second DAX statement uses the DAX filter function. It declares what are the, this first argument is what table should be filtered. It's the sales customers table. And how should it be filtered? Only give me customers that have a number of orders uh, greater than 10, right? Greater than minimum order count, which is the variable that I declared up here. Then return this new table. That's what filter does. Filter um, returns a full table and then we return it. Now notice, look at all these columns here. Where did all these columns come from? Well, if we go down and we look at our customers table, the columns are exactly the same. It's just that these customers have had at least 10 orders and these customers are all my customers. They might not have even had an order at all. So when I look at it in use, this table right here uses minimum order customers and this table over here is all of the customers, right? And you can see the differences, right? See customer A, there's only one customer A that has had more than 10 orders and it's $28,000, right? Now that's A, Z, J, I, E, D, right? This one, right? But there's three customers over here that start with the letter A. It's because this is all of my customers, but these customers here have not placed at least 10 orders. And if you go look in the data, uh, when you download the PVIX file, you can see that this is true. So. Um, another thing about this, by the way, let's go ahead and go back and look at the calculated table again, right? So let's look at the DAX again. What you can do, oop, get off of that, I didn't mean to click new measure, click here. Okay, what you can do when you have three lines of DAX is you get to choose what um, statement this returns. Notice that I'm returning the last statement, but I could easily return a previous statement like minimum order count equals 10. Why would I do that? Well. When you create a variable using multiple lines of code, you get to choose what line you return. And you may want to do that for troubleshooting. Let's say that you're doing complicated steps and you need to do 10 steps. You can do 10 separate lines here using this variable method. And then you, you can return line three, line four, line five, each line one at a time to determine where you went wrong on that complicated process. So you can see how you can use this method for troubleshooting and how it can be really useful. Thanks. And finally, this is how you can get a hold of me if you need to. There's my Twitter and my email address, and of course my YouTube channel if you want to subscribe and get more videos on DAX and Power Apps and data engineering and cloud data and other things that interest me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Have a great day.